neglect. Father, we thank you so much for cleaning us up right now. We thank you for inspiring us right now in the name of Jesus. Send your mighty guardian angels, your ministering angels, to flood this arena tonight. Let your Holy Spirit show up in this place. You must get some glory out of this gathering tonight. Father, it is you why we're here. Your credit is good with us. We ask that you shut down principalities and powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Glory to God. Let your rich anointing, hallelujah, flow through this place. Let every demons assigned to this meeting begin to see the flow of the blood of Jesus. Let your blood like Niagara Falls flow in this place right now. Hallelujah. Blood up every element in this place. Let your name be glorified. And Father, we thank you. Your credit is good with us. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Somebody shout in Jesus' name. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Shake two persons' hands and tell them, neighbor, I'm glad you're here tonight. Hallelujah. You're in the right place at the right time for your miracle. Come on, put your Bibles down, turn and talk to somebody. Amen. That's how we begin preaching here tonight. Amen. I want you to take off your religious faces at this time and put them in your pockets and put them in your purse. You might need them tomorrow when the enemy attack you. We want to be real in here. Grab two persons by the hand and talk to them. Look them in the eyeball and tell them, neighbor, you, if you're afraid of the eyeballs, look in the forehead. If you're afraid of the eyeballs, look in the forehead. Neighbor, you are in the right place at the right time for your miracle. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Sister Clark and myself, we are so thrilled, amen, to be here tonight. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Amen. It was very sacrificial. Amen. Get me here. But we, by God's grace, we ended up here. Praise the name of the Lord. And what a joy it is to meet uh, uh, your pastor and the beautiful saints of this uh, ministry. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. We salute, oh, praise the name of the Lord, God for what he is doing in this area. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Jesus is coming soon. Therefore, we have got to get ourselves ready for the final Take off, oh praise the name of the Lord. I'd like to use for a theme or a topic, if I should use one tonight, uh, the clock is winding down. The clock is winding down. If you want a better subject, time clock is ticking the hour. It's midnight, oh praise the name of the Lord. We are living in a serious time, folks. Uh, you can't afford to come to church to waste time. We've got to listen to the things that are taking place around us. Uh, when we listen, what we hear, what we see, we have no doubt that something is about to happen. Uh, you have chose for your theme in this convocation end time and i believe there could be no better subject to use than end time oh praise god because the church is now at the end of the end we are at the end of the end god is as i've said already talking to gabriel right now begging gabriel just to hold back because he is about to blow the trumpet. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Blow ye the trumpet in Zion. 
Oh, lift up your voice like a trumpet. We are come to that place and time when we cannot rest. We have got to get ourselves wise up and get in our rightful place. For those who have staggered and fell, uh, get up. Hallelujah. You can't afford to sit down worrying about something that happened to you last night or yesterday. You need to get up and get yourself ready because the church is about to be raptured. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. God wants us to believe his words. He wants us to trust him. One of the fundamentals of faith is to believe in the phenomenon of prophecy. Everybody say prophecy. That is that God communicates with men who have merited to attain the level of a prophet. This concept underlies the belief that uh, the Bible is from heaven. Everybody shout, the Bible is from heaven. Uh, this concept underlies the belief that God sent from heaven the word, the Bible to mankind. Uh, anyone disputing the idea of prophecy denies that the Torah was transmitted to Moses, our teacher, and denies the word of all the prophets who came after him. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The Bible is the word of God. And I believe that we should believe the Bible with our whole heart. When you believe the Bible, you believe in God. Hallelujah. It's one thing to talk about end time and the prophetical release that we have had from the various prophets, including Jesus. But the next thing that is very important, it is that we believe. Somebody shout, I believe. I believe. You're only going to get tonight what you believe. You're going to only going to get tonight out of your belief. Come on, somebody. The Bible said, he that cometh to God must first believe that he is and that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. The most basic precept in the entire Bible is belief in God. We must know intellectually and believe emotionally without any shadow of doubt that God exists and that he created everything that exists, whether spiritual or material. One who doubts this truth denies the creator and undermines the whole Bible. Come on, somebody. The reason why I'm saying this to you tonight, uh, it is because we have people who know that there is a God, but they don't really believe in God. They talk about him, they preach about him, but when you bring them to the stand to prove that God is real, they are not there. I don't hear the church. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. But I believe that mankind, if we're going to say we are, we're sure that we're ready for rapture, we should have a faith in God so strong that we are ready to die for what we preach. Oh, you don't hear what I'm saying. You don't hear what I'm saying. My God, God created everything that exists on the face of the earth. So he is the God of all gods. He is the master of creation, the master of the universe. Come on, somebody. The Bible declares that even the adversary know that he is the master of the universe. And so he is looking forward to the two point something million or three million people in the island of Jamaica to give him praise. Come on, somebody. 
he desired that this nation lift him up in the beauty of holiness because that's the reason why he brought us here come on somebody and so I'm here just to remind somebody of the last night of the feast oh praise the name of the Lord that there is much more to receive from God but you will not get the outpouring until you shake yourselves up throw your heads back square your shoulder look in the devil's black eyes and tell him enough is enough do I have a Christian person in here tonight that came with a motive and a desire oh hallelujah to see the hand of God giving you your breakthrough as you have believed I repeat this one more time for you before we go any further the spirit of expectancy is the breathing ground for miracle whether you're gonna build a church you're gonna build a house you're gonna marry a wife you're gonna buy a car you're gonna try to get some more degrees you need to have the assurance that God can do what he said he will do somebody shout I believe the Bible somebody shout I believe the Word of God oh come on open your mouth and talk to me he created everything that exists the Torah which is the Bible opens with the account of creation this is the foundation upon which the entire Bible is built the fact that God created the universe and everything on the earth the heavens and all its fairs and constellation all the galaxies in space as well as the spiritual worlds whose existence is hidden from the human eye everything was originally created from nothing oh hallelujah Hebrews chapter 11 by the will of Almighty God we didn't come here by this kind of a being a uh, big bang fear is tough uh, that they talk about uh, come on somebody yes we believe in evolution uh, but my belief in evolution that the term we refer to as evolution it was when the master stood out and said let there be uh, whatever happened after the let that's evolution come on somebody but God stands behind every action in the universe he is the boss he is the master come on somebody he is Lord over everything I want you to know that when you talk about Jesus you should lift your head high you should square your shoulder up and you should say Jesus with reality but in truth and in fact Jesus is Lord hallelujah if he's not Lord he's not God at all come on somebody tonight we are here to lift him up he said if I then be lifted up from this earth I will draw all men unto me that's what he says so friends ladies and gentlemen brothers and sisters boys and girls to suggest that the universe always existed is heresy as the great Jewish rabbi wrote he writes in his opening words to Hilkot Yesedia a Torah in the book of knowledge hallelujah the most basic of all basic principles and the pillar of all science uh, is to realize uh, there is a first uh, being who brought everything uh, hallelujah every existing thing into being uh, 
Don't shout before you know who you are shouting for. Don't dance before you know who you are elevating. Come on, somebody. For people dance to the devil too. Come on, somebody. But we want to know that we know that we know that all existing things, spiritual or material, are dependent on his true existence. Somebody open your mouth right now and make your God feel big in this house. The writer said, oh, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together. I don't understand how we magnify God when the Bible said he is omnipresent. If a man is omnipresent, how can you make him bigger? Come on, somebody. We learned he filled Pluto, Jupiter, Mer Mer uh, Mars, and Venus up and out in space. But when he come to the heart of man, oh, he cannot find himself there. So the only place that God can be magnified it is in the heart of a child of God. Come on, somebody. That's why you need to open your mouth up and let the devil know it's not over. Hallelujah. You are in a fight and the fight is not yet ended. Come on somebody you are getting yourself ready the bride is waiting come on somebody the groom the bridegroom is about to give order to Michael and Gabriel to escort the bride come on somebody the wedding feast is already planned and so we need to get ourselves very active look at somebody and tell them before you shout make sure some oil is in your lamp before you shout make sure that you have some good stuff ready to meet the bridegroom Come on, somebody. The Apostle Paul reminded us that we are wrestling. And here in the ending of the age, we now face the hottest part of the battle. We're preachers. You're now going to have to preach more. You're going to have to teach more. You're going to have to pray more. You're going to have to fast more. Come on somebody. I thought a couple of years ago we needed to preach, pray, and fast. But when I look and see the devil in every corner of our homes, every corner of our churches, every corner of our cities, then I realize that the church need to wake up. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. It's not time to rest. It's not time to sleep. I heard Jesus talking to the children of uh, uh, the disciples on the Mount of Olive uh, when they ask him, Master, you're about to leave. Uh, what shall be the signs of the coming uh, and of the end of the age? Uh, my God Almighty, let me lay my foundation. Don't push me. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Uh, Jesus said to them, uh, ah, when you shall hear of wars and rumors of wars and earthquakes, in diverse places, famines and pestilence. He said, look up because your redemption draweth nigh. The key word he gave to the church, he said, watch. You can't sleep and watch. Oh, come on, somebody. You can't be a liar and a watcher at the same time. You can't be a prostitute and a watcher at the same time. You can't be a thief and a watcher at the same time. You can't be a lesbian. Oh, hallelujah. And a watcher at the same time. The Bible said in the last days, perilous times will come. And we can say perilous time has come. Hallelujah. We are just now on the final wrapping up uh, for the church to take off. Uh, come on somebody. Uh, so we're seeing the fulfillment of 
prophecy. Are you ready for this tonight? Are you tired? Come on, somebody. Man was made a spirit living in a physical body. Don't let your flesh be your boss. When your flesh becomes your boss, you cannot hear from God. Slap that flesh up and let that flesh know heart rightness is not going to run my life. Pneumonia is not going to dictate to my miracle and my victory. I don't hear the church. Come on, somebody. Glucoma, if you can't call my head. says no weapon formed against you shall prosper so you can't afford to sit back and let the devil dictate to you the world dictates to you your flesh dictate to you slap that old flesh and let the flesh know behave yourself I'm a spirit come on somebody talk to me now I want to know if I'm in a graveyard or an apostolic church tonight. We're going to drive our demons out of here tonight. Somebody get your blood gun and cock. We're going to crack the hammer and pull the trigger in the devil's stomach. Somebody open up your mouth and shout. I want my power and I want it now. I want my breakthrough and I want it now. The Bible said, all that is in the world, it is the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life. Come on, somebody. We are trapped by the flesh, trapped by the devil, trapped by the world. Beautiful things, cars and houses. Can I talk to the church? The flesh now, sex and pleasure. Can I talk to the church? It is referred to as the three G's. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Come on, somebody. Oh, girls. Come on. Somebody want to help me here? gold and glory. The devil is a liar. I was made in the image of God. I'm not belonging here. I'm supposed to be going. So nothing is going to stop my movement. Look at somebody and tell them you're not supposed to be a monument. You're supposed to be a movement. Oh, glory to God. Come on on somebody. Lot's wife became a pillar of salt because when she should be moving she became a monument. Look if you find a monument sitting beside you trying to pull down on you. My God Almighty. I wanted to begin to tell somebody, sit down, let us talk, sit down, let's talk, let's talk. But, but I wanted to tell somebody that the rapture, the rapture is going to be an exciting event. Are you anticipating it, folks? It's going to be an exciting event. Can you imagine? Oh, God Almighty, in the moment, in the twinkle, of an eye. Somebody blink your eye. Come on, somebody. In the twinkling of an eye, God's going to catch his bride away. And that's what I was trying to tell you, that man is a spirit trapped in an earthly house, in an earthly vessel. Oh, 
Reverend Grizzle. Don't worry about them arthritis and them little stuff in the flesh. This is just a part-time stuff. This is dirt. This is clay pot. I have another body. Come on, somebody. I said I have another body for this terrestrial. Oh, God shall change to the celestial. I don't know who I'm preaching to tonight, but I'm trying to tell somebody that heaven is better than this. God Almighty. So as we begin to talk about the end of time, I reminded you that time clock is striking the midnight hour. Yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. White man, black man, rich man, poor man. Come on, somebody. I want to alert you now. The church, the bride, is about to move. Jesus said in the book of Matthew 24, 8 to 9, but all these things are merely the beginning of sorrow, the birth pangs. Then they will deliver you, he said, up to tribulation and will kill you and you will be hated of all nation on account of my name. The world is going Going through turmoil right now. It's in Kenya. It's in Ethiopia. It's in other parts of the Middle Eastern world. Come on, somebody. God is getting the church ready. But hear what the Bible said. This gospel of the kingdom must be preached throughout the world for a witness. Then shall the end come. We were just over in South Africa there, where the Waimbas are. These people who are naked, there were no clothes. Come on, somebody. We had to witness to them through interpreters. Come on, they speak the closer language. Sister Clark and myself, we were there. I asked them, have you heard about Jesus? They said, we have another Jesus, but we introduce Jesus Christ to them. Come on, somebody. The end of all things is at hand. He is knocking on your door right now. Come on. Slap somebody and tell him. Last call. This might be the last call for somebody. I don't know who I'm talking to. The Bible said and this gospel of the kingdom must be preached throughout the world for a witness then shall the end come do you want to see more of the end time prophecies being fulfilled than that which you're seeing right now second Timothy 3 1 to 5 says but realize this that in the last days difficult times will come for men will be lovers of themselves. Come on, somebody. Lovers of money. Boastful. Arrogant. Disobedient to parents. Ungrateful. Unholy. Unloving. Unforgiving. Malicious. Gossips. Without self-control. I don't know who I'm preaching to. Brutal. Somebody said brutal. Haters of good treasures. Haters of righteousness, reckless, conceited, lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, holding to a form of godliness although they have denied the power of God, always learning and never come to the knowledge of the truth. But look at somebody and tell him right now, it's high time to rise. It's high time to be ready. Oh God, we see around us the falling away from the church. Can I talk to the saints here tonight? Falling.
together. The church is about to take off. I'm going somewhere tonight. The devil is a liar and his mother-in-law too. You better get some praise out for the devil is trying to stop your blessing right in this house. I brought a letter to be delivered right now and I want to get that letter out. I'm a letter man standing in the lectern tonight. Come on somebody. I have a mail for somebody bless the name of the Lord the return of the one pure language of the Hebrew to Israel is a prophecy this is something that God said he would do before he gets back he's going to gather the Hebrews children, the Jewish children back into Israel we have seen that for ourselves come on somebody the temple in Israel they're now planning to build the temple. Can I give you the simple signs that have been released right now? When we go up to the Temple Mount last year, there is a place there where they have spent billions and billions of dollars already in gold and silver and diamond. They have had furniture for the temple already. But you ought to understand for the temple to be built, this might be World War III can I talk to the church but guess what the temple must be built whether it's by war or compromission but the temple must be built shake yourself up church the rebuilding of the temple and the restoration of the temple demand the ashes of the heifer they have now discovered a couple of the red heifer up. And so the ashes up, is now, I believe, in process. Up. Come on, somebody. Up. The Bible said, up, write it up, and make it plain. Up. For though the vision tarry, up, it shall up, come to pass. Up. I don't know who I'm talking to. Up. Whatever Jesus said up, will be fulfilled. It will be fulfilled. Up. My God. God Almighty. And here Daniel 9 26 says, Then after the 62 weeks, the Messiah will be cut off and have nothing. And the people of the prince who is to come will destroy the city and the sanctuary. Most of the prophecies that must be fulfilled before the rapture ring of the church have already been fulfilled. Tell somebody, open your eyes and look. I told you last night, don't build no house that you cannot leave. Don't buy no car that you cannot leave. For she is about to take off. Come on, somebody. For those who are bad mind and covetous, you covet my suit, I'll give you when I'm going. You covet, put up my monitor, Mr. Engineer. Put a little bit on my monitor. Come on, somebody. If you covet my suit, I'll give you when I'm gone. If you covet my car, I'm going to leave it in the garage. If you covet that little concrete house, take it when I'm gone. Come on, somebody. But I'm not going to let nothing hold me back. I'm going. Forward. I'm going forward. Somebody said forward still. Tis Jehovah's will. Though the billows dash and spray with a conquering thread, we will push ahead and roll up the sea away my God almighty technology for the mark of the beast is here can I go there tonight I said technology for the mark of the beast they are already here everything is in place people are now taking the chip in their hands and in their foreheads flying through the airports they don't need no card no passport can I talk to the church 
worship. John in the Revelation said he saw the time when man would not be able to buy or to sell save he that had the mark of the beast. Come on somebody. And now we are right there. We're just rushing now to get our society, our little glow to be a one world, a one world order to be underneath a one world system. Come on somebody. Where the society will become cashless. The euro is the money. is the currency that they are pushing now to get right across the globe. Then a card and then the cash come out of the way. Then it will be the chip the announcement will be made uh, that you should go down to the CIBC bank one Monday morning early uh, and get your little stuff in your hand or in your forehead. Uh, and the army that is up there not doing much, uh, they're going to have a lot of work to do uh, because they're going to have to see to it uh, that every man take the chip in his hands. Uh, are you ready for this, folks? Uh, the church has got to be ready. We have got to prepare ourselves. The soldiers who are now sitting at the up park camp. They have a work to carry out. For every man will be by force commanded to take the mark of the beast. And guess what? It could be tomorrow morning. It could be any time now for tribulation is going to reach the saints of God before the church is raptured. Come on, somebody. We see here plans for the one world government. Everything is in place. The United Nations World Trade Organization International ah, Criminal Court, UN Peacekeeping Police Force, numerous UN NGOs and other agencies are, my God, preliminary steps to the formation of a new world government. We now have the communication technology, transportation, and the pro-globalization media necessary to usher in the one world government headed by the Antichrist. Look at someone and tell them the spirit of Antichrist is right at our doorstep. They take the ten, took the ten commandments out of the schoolroom in the United States and other parts of the world. You know, hear what I'm saying, folks. It is the spirit of Antichrist that is now running our banks, running our school, running the political arena. Come on, church. Don't sit back and let the devil stifle you and trap you. At the end of every 2,000 years, there is a special event. Can I talk to the church right now? Ah, we looked at the last 2,000 event. Jesus Christ was born. You don't hear what I'm saying. Now we're closing off. Another 2,000 years, we look for a mighty event. That will be the rapturing of the church and the coming of the Lord Jesus Christ. Time clock is striking the hour of midnight. We can't allow the world, the flesh, and the devil to trap us. Can I preach in here tonight? My God Almighty, instant communication around the world. You take out a little cell phone out of your pocket and touch one little key. And before you know it, somebody answer on the other side of South Africa. Come on, knowledge has increased that people don't even want to go to church anymore. When people are supposed to get up and go to church, they are sitting before a plasma hanging on a wall. Can I talk to the church? The devil is a liar. The church needs to wake up and smell what is taking place in the last days. Instant communication is affecting our world. It's affecting 
leaving the church. Can I preach like I'm led tonight? You live in a house with five children that you push from your womb and you don't even hear them. You don't even see them. They are locked up in a room with a computer. You don't hear what I'm saying. You don't know what is happening in those bedrooms with Precious and Janet and Marlene and uh, they are hooked up to some high power demons. Come on somebody. That's why you have so much pressure on your hand because demons are released through modern technology right in in your bedroom. I think you can do a little better in the monitor, Mr. Engineer. My God Almighty. My God Almighty. So you're going to have to wake up church. Check your bedroom. Check your bathroom. Check everything that's happening in the house. Devil, you ain't going to stop this tonight. If I bring a mail, I'm going to deliver it. I'm a mailman and a dangerous mailman. I tell you that somebody better get up off your feet right now and look around. I saw some demons that came around. They went away last night and regrouped and said tonight we're going to make a mess of things because somebody trouble me. The blood of Jesus is against every demonic spirit that have entered this place. We're going to fill this arena right now with the blood of Jesus. Put your hands on your head right now and said Lord wash me with your blood cleanse my lip cleanse my tongue cleanse my hand oh the devil can't handle that no demons can stand before the power of repentance give me some bass Mr. Music Mr. Engineer no demons can stand before the power of repentance so for fear you got in mess today and you feel a little fearful tonight just put your hand on your head and say Lord empty me tonight create in me a clean heart oh God and renew a right spirit within me look at someone and tell them tonight is my night for my breakthrough I came for a breakthrough and I'm not leaving Hear me now. The devil said, I don't like to hear that. The devil said, I don't like to hear the clapping. I don't like to hear the praise. I got him. I just hear the devil saying a while ago, I hear they go again. Here they go again. Somebody shout in the house. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. The devil said, Here they go again. Yes, we know the devil can't take the shout. He can't take the he can't have the blood. He can't have the power. Somebody open up your... Ooh. Yes. 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 Look at someone and tell him right now. It's the last night of the feast. It's the last night of the feast. And no devil is going to rob me of my portion. It's the last night of the feast. I must be healed. I must be delivered. Hallelujah. I told you already that there are seven anointing. The anointing to preach. The anointing to heal. The anointing to deliver. The anointing to praise and worship God. The anointing to give. The anointing to receive. I heard David say, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Somebody open up your mouth and bless the Lord. The church, the church is going to celebrate tonight. 
somebody say celebrate 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 it's my night it's your night somebody shout woman woman thou art loose woman thou art loose for when the devil coming like a flood the spirit of the Lord lift up the standard
Matthew 24 and 6 people would forsake the Ten Commandments as a moral code committing adultery stealing lying killing there would be a cold religious system in denying God's power second Timothy 3 verse 5 you want to preach but you don't want to power you want to have a church but you don't want to have no power that's antichrist spirit that's anti God spirit come on somebody no Holy Ghost no power come on somebody people would forsake the things that God needed them to do there would be a cold religious system in the nine God men would substitute fantasy in place of Christian truth 2 Timothy 4 4 this is so evident at Christmas when the birth of the Savior is turned over to Santa Claus the devil is a liar come on somebody deadly disease would be prevalent according to Matthew 24 Kalazar Ebola AIDS syphilis cancer is wrapping the mind of man come on somebody you need to shake off cancer oh I don't hear the church 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 the fact that God wants flood the earth ah the Noahic flood would be denied according to second Peter 3 5 and 6 there is a mass of fossil evidence to prove the fact that the earth got drowned by flood tell the heathen tell the fools that said there is no God that if there was no God there wouldn't be a fool like you come on somebody I heard that somebody said one time he was the devil said he was gonna create his own man but as he stood down and heaped the dirt up he heard a bass voice said get your own dirt come on somebody God is God oh, by him Come on, somebody. The Bible said he calls the earth out of nothing. Only God could do that. Can I talk to the church? The institution of marriage would be forsaken by many. First Timothy 4 and verse 3. The institution of marriage has been messed up. Man marrying man. Can I preach it like a feeling? Come on, somebody. How can you have four rusty? I feel I want to preach. My preaching is coming. God, I'm going to close the notes in a while. I feel something pushing me. Lord God Almighty, how can you have four rusty men talking about I love you? The devil is a liar. Open your mouth. Shut up a cold. Lord, I feel something in here. Come on, somebody. The devil is a liar. Come on. God didn't create Eve and Mary. Neither Adam and Steve. He created Precious and John. The devil is a liar. I told you last night that not even the devil believed that he himself should be a homosexual. He invented it, but he's not taking part. If you notice, when he went into the garden, he went to the woman, got a shire, and yet you have man living with man, man hugging man, man scratching man, but the devil is alive. Can I preach in Kingston, Jamaica? My God Almighty, open up your mouth and shout the blood. I tell him my hand is on the trigger to fire now. Blood, 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 blood. Oh, Oh, my God, my God, my God, so is 
see here, there would be an increase in famine, according to Matthew, increase in vegetarianism. The devil is a liar. The Bible said all creature is good for food. Bless it and eat it. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. I'd rather you eat hog meat and serve God than eat cabbage and callaloo and become a lesbian. Come on, talk to me, church. Talk to me, church. My God Almighty, the time has come when God said, Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall. I feel my preaching coming on now. My God Almighty, slap somebody and said, I feel it in my belly. Preach, preach, preach. Preach, preach, preach. Preach, Shalom. Lord God Almighty, somebody better come get me. The end is here. Get ready if you want to be saved. I said the end is here. We look at the possession of Jerusalem that would be at the center of Asian international turmoil. Be this known unto you. Jerusalem is the radius of Israel. Israel is the radius of the universe. Come on, everything that's going to happen in the last days, it's going to happen in Israel. Oh, God Almighty, knowledge has increased already. It demand that the church put some blood in that chair before you remove the man of God. I said put some blood in that chair before you remove the man of God. Just put some blood in the chair first. Blood, 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 blood. Blood, blood. Shanda Bakosha. Shanda Bakosha. Put some blood on the bishop. Blood. Somebody shed the blood. Somebody shed the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Somebody shout the blood. Some more. Shut them up. Shut them up. My God. Open up your mouth and give the Lord a shout of praise in the house. Shout like you know. That you know. That you know. That you know. Sit down and give me 
the two more seconds to talk to you. My God Almighty, oh God, we can't leave our church like this. We can't leave our world like this. We can't leave our young people like this. Feed me with some more base, Mr. Engineer. Put some more base on it. My God Almighty, it's high time now for the church to rise up. Somebody say, rise up. Somebody say, rise up. Rise up. Rise up for the Holy Ghost. Rise up for more power. Rise up for more strength. Rise up for more anointing. Come on, somebody. It's high. You can stand on your feet right now. It's high time. I said it's high time. Slap two persons and tell them. It's high time. Ooh, I think I can take up a few more minutes up and put up the microphone. Can I preach for two more minutes up? Is that okay? Is that okay? Can I preach for two more minutes up? Push on the bakosh, rasata kabosh. Hey, God, somebody need to get serious up and shout. Enough is enough. If it's dumpy in your house, enough is enough. If it's cancer in your body, enough is enough. If it's demon in your life, enough is ah God Almighty. I wish I have a shoe. Shut up. Open your mouth and shout. Devil, your time is up. Shut up. Open your mouth and shout. Heaven, open up. Devil, shut up. Lord God, where are the preachers in here tonight? Shut up. We're going to open heaven here tonight in National Arena. Somebody shout, heaven, open up. Devil, shut up. The blood is against you. Somebody by the hand, get somebody by the hand, and tell it you are made in the image. Come on, find somebody. Tell them, oh, shut up, Lord God Almighty. Can we preach for? Can we preach for five more minutes? Everybody stand if you can preach for five. Come on, stand. If you're tired, tell me. If you're tired, I'll give up the microphone to your pastor. The bishop, you're tired. If you're not tired, shout hallelujah, bishop. Shout hallelujah, preacher. Shout Jesus. Go shut up. Go shut up. The devil is not going to overrun the church of the living God. The Antichrist is trying to close the church. Close the church. Look what it did. In Europe, most of the church building, they are sold out for bars. Sold out for clubs. Somebody raise your hand and say it can't work. Shut up. You know how it begun? It begun by... The preacher said, let's have church on Sunday in the day and close down in the night for we need some family time. The devil is a liar. And by taking family time, the devil took over the church buildings in England. It ain't going to work in Jamaica. I said it's not going to work in Kingston, Jamaica. It's not going to work for there are some guys in Tivoli who need to hear the word. Rima, Kashata, help me with it. Downtown jungle and the ghettos. There are some bloodthirsty men who shut up people and have some dopey walking behind them. They need to feel God before the church is wrapped up. Somebody said a blood. Some cold-blooded murderer. Walking with blood on their back. They need Jesus. 
just too up. Somebody open them out right. Look here. Somebody switch, 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 switch. Tell somebody switch, switch, switch. Come on, go where the person is beside you. Go where the person is. Come on, switch. Somebody switch. Stand up, stand up if you don't have a baby in your hand. Stand up. The devil don't want you to stand up. He wanted you to sit down. Ask somebody. What power is driving you? What spirit is driving you? I am a shandabako. What spirit is moving you? Holy Ghost Church is a powerful church. Holy Ghost Church is a blood washed church. Holy Ghost Church is a firebrand church. We have some Christians in church, even bishops and pastors. For years now, they don't hear the baby. For years now, the baby never even make one little kick. Your baby should be alive. For the Bible said, if the same spirit that raised up Jesus from the dead, am I okay to preach like this, Reverend? If the same Jesus spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, if he dwell in you, he shall also quicken your mortal shop. Ah, somebody, my God Almighty, it's temperature check right now. Turn around and tell two person, temperature check. Do you have the Holy Ghost? Do you have the power? Come on, Mr. Engineer, do you stop? You are responsible for these souls in the arena right now. Come on, Hashataya. Come on, come on, come on. Shake him Temperature check up. Temperature check up. Shut up. Let the church a holy ghost a man up. Let the bishops a whole course. Bishop and pastor. If you don't have holy ghost up, don't call me at your church to preach up. Shut up, go up. It's time. It's fire time. Somebody say fire time. It's power time. Power time. Oh, I feel like preaching in here tonight. Open him out and shout power. Somebody shout power now. Power. Somebody give the Lord a high five. I give the devil a high kick. Shake it down. Give the Lord a high five. I give the devil a high kick. Open him out. Open him out.
I feel a warring spirit in Kingston, Jamaica. I said, I feel a warring spirit in National Arena tonight. My God Almighty. Somebody put some blood on the chair right now. Blood, put some blood on the chair. Just stop the chair three times and say, blood, blood, blood. Release your generation. Sons and daughters, husbands and wives. I have put means war. Bishops, line out here. Listen me now. Listen. Listen. Everybody inside here tonight, you are leaving Philip the Holy Ghost. Leaving baptized in Jesus' name. Everything inside you are going to talk in tongues tonight. Can you hear what I'm saying? Can you hear what I'm saying? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? The blood of Jesus Christ is the redeeming blood to set man free. You get on the blood by baptism in water. Somebody say water, the man. Water, somebody say water. Open up your mouth and shout water. Start coming down now. Start coming down. Those who need refilling you need the holy ghost start coming down you come beside the bishop give them way give them way 
Come on, keep coming. Give them away. You need a breakthrough. Don't look at nobody. Don't look at nobody. Come on, give them away. Clear the arms. I know the altar is small to hold the people coming, but you're going to come very close. Get tight. God said, I come to bless you tonight. And I'm going to bless you. Hear me now. Some of you down here move. If you are sick in your body, move. If you need a breakthrough, move. You didn't come to this tent to be a spectator. You come to be a participator. God wants to empower you. Shambabako. Bishops. Labrasaya. Pastors. Sunday your message is going to switch. Russia. I said Sunday your message is going to switch, Bishop. It's going to be thick with fire. Let the church of 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 fire. All right, keep on coming, keep on coming. Keep on coming, keep on coming. Go, go worship, go worship, musicians. Give them way, give them way. Give them way. Come, come, my friends, come, my friends. Everyone say, friend, please, please, please don't stay down there. Come down here. Every backslider, every backslider, please come. Tonight's the night. Come, keep coming. Don't be afraid. Somebody bring the friends you brought to church down here right now. Bring them down here. Somebody hold their hands and bring them down here. They are a bit doubtful. They are fearful. Bring them down. All right. Look at me now. Everybody look at me now. You see, those of you who didn't need any help, you didn't need any deliverance, we're going to need you to do some work. Come down here now. Keep coming. Keep walking. Walking. Now. Now. Keep coming. Move quickly. 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 You didn't need to come for the Holy Ghost. You didn't need to come for baptism. Come right now. There's a work for you to do up here. Sharabasako. Shandabako. Can we take five minutes and wrap this up? Keep coming, keep coming. Keep coming. Somebody cry, Jesus. Open up your mouth and shout, Jesus. Open up your mouth and shout, Jesus. Open up your mouth and shout, Jesus. One more time, Jesus. One more time, Jesus. folks look here folks lucifer came down to earth decided to take mankind over can you hear what i'm saying he worked through a snake from the snake to a woman from the woman to the man and earth got wrecked can you hear what i'm saying but jesus came as the second adam to bring us redemption he shed his blood everybody said the blood Everybody shout the blood. Everybody shout the blood. So he shed his blood that every single solitary human being would be redeemed, would be bought back from out of the hand of Lucifer. Therefore, every one of you standing here tonight, you have rights to the power. So look what's happening here now. Look what happened. Look at me now. Look what's happening here now. Lucifer realized that snake, they eat it in Liberia. You don't hear what I'm saying. They eat puss in St. Kitts. They eat iguana in Guyana. Rat in many places. Are you listening to me? Dogs in Belize. I don't hear the folks. Turtle in the Cayman Islands. Are you listening to me? So dog, Zambia, monkey. You don't hear what I'm saying. Keep coming on. Keep coming on. So the devil changes his strategy. He said, they are eating hog. They are eating snake. They are eating dogs. They are eating rats. So you know what? I don't want them eating me. I'm going to go in pretty girls. Sweet nurse and sweet teacher. I, I, I want my body 
I want my power, my spirit to be in men, in women. Can you hear what I'm saying? And so he now possess men. Two things will keep him out of your life. One, baptism in water in Jesus' name. Why? That carries the blood. Somebody said the blood. Open up your mouth and say the blood. I heard the demons backing up when you said the blood. Somebody said the blood. Open your mouth and shout the blood. Open your mouth and shout the blood. Everyone that goes down in water, somebody say water, in the name of Jesus. You know what happened to you? The blood is applied. And once the blood is applied, the devil loses his stronghold. Are you with me? He loses his stronghold. Can you hear me? Come close until you touch somebody. There is no female nor male in here now. It's just sons. Keep coming down. No male nor female in here. It's just sons. Come down. Keep coming down. Rababu, shut up. Worship musician. Worship. Shanda Rababu, son. Let me see the hands of those who have not yet been baptized in Jesus' name. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. Look at them. Raise your hands. Come on. Not yet baptized in Jesus' name. Raise your hands. Not baptized in Jesus' name as yet. Raise your hands. Quickly, quickly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm going to share this with you tonight. Look over there. Step over there. Where, where's the pool? Which direction is the pool? I just got word from the Lord. Every person that raise your hands for baptism tonight. When you go down in that pool and come back out, God's going to change your life from tonight until eternity. It's a prophecy. Receive it. Let me see the hands of those who are not yet filled with the Holy Ghost. Never speak in tongues. Raise them high. Raise them high. Never speak in tongues. If you can't come over, let them through, let them through. They are beside and not filled. Christians, take them over here. Bring them up in the front. They are going to speak in tongues tonight. All the doubters standing up here, please come off the restaurant. Shanda Bakosha. Excuse me, it's not disrespect. I just don't want you to hinder those who need their breakthrough. Kashayama. Kibosha. Those who need the Holy Ghost, send them through right now. Shako. Yes. All right, good Christians, come down here now. We need your help for just a few minutes. Come on, quickly. Quickly. Yes. Somebody shout yes. Let the church shout yes. Open your mouth and shout yes. Yes, the Holy Ghost is here right now. If you want to... 